Hey everybody. So this is uh, Unit 6, Module 1, Session 4 homework. Um, like always, if you start to think you understand or you already understand, try some of them and then use the video just to kind of check your work or uh, check my work. I made a mistake for a second on my last video. I caught it before I um, went on, but yeah, a little mistake there for a little bit. Um, the first three arrangements in this short towers cube sequence um, are right there. We did this in class. Uh, about a week ago, maybe a little less than that. Explain to an adult at home how the towers change from one arrangement to the next and have the adult initial the sheet to show that uh, they understand you. A um, couple things that some people noticed were that every arm, oh, that's a really thick, every arm, there's one back there too, was growing by one. I'm going to use one that's not quite so thick this next time. Um, so it went to one. I can't even see that. It went to one. So outside the the starting block. So it started with one. Then we added. It looks like one. There's one back here. Two, three, four, five. So we had five here. So from here to here plus five. And then we added all of these ones right here. There's one. Looks like five more. So plus five more. Okay. So those are some things you could say, or you could see how tall it is or how long each arm is. Um, and then let's go here. Here's the fourth arrangement um, in the sequence. How many cubes are there in the arrangement? So you just you just have to figure out um, how many cubes there are. I got a couple ideas. One of them would be, I know there's one in the middle because we started with one in the middle right there, right? And then each of these, it looks like there's um, three there. Looks like there's three behind. There's three here, three there, and three up front. Um, and that's the fourth arrangement, right? Okay, so I need to add that up. So three, 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 three. That is three times five, 15. 16? Is that what you guys got? All right, let's look at Shonda. Shonda says you don't have to count cubes by one by one to find out how many are in the fourth arrangement. She says there is one cube in the middle, then five arms of three cubes. Hey, that's kind of what we said. Um, write an equation to show how Shonda figured out the number of cubes. So she might have done kind of like we did, but she starts with the one. And we'll show her a picture. She starts with the one. And then she did, she added the five arms times three cubes. Um, and that was that 15 that we got plus the one. So she got 16 cubes also. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one. Uh, how many cubes are in the fifth arrangement? You can use Sean Shonda's method or your own. So I'm going to kind of, since I had kind of the same one as her, I'm going to go that one and then I'm going to go, I can't tell how many are in that one, but I can tell me are in this one. One, two, three, four. So I know that each of them is four, and there's one in the back. So side, back, top, um, the other side. That was a bad four. And then the front, plus four. There are five of them, like Shonda said. One, two, three, four, five. So five times four is 20, plus the one. Um, I think there's 21 cubes. What do you think? All right. 23rd arrangement. Now, check this out. I'm going to do another big hint. The fifth arrangement had fours. The fourth arrangement, sorry, it's getting dizzy. The fourth arrangement had threes. Hmm. So let's use that information. What do you think? How many cubes would it take to build the 23rd arrangement um, in the sequence? Um, I'm going to start with the middle one. Okay, the middle one. And then there's a, a thing here, here. Here, it's going to look like a weird shape. They're going back in there. Looks like a weird flower, right? So the 23rd arrangement, I kind of gave us, I kind of gave us a hint um, just a little bit ago. The fifth arrangement had four here, right? Um, the fourth arrangement had three. So that means the 23rd arrangement is going to have the 23rd minus one, 22 in each of these. 22. So 1 plus 22. Um, let's go to, let's actually use Shonda's method times 5 
equals. Okay, so we got to figure out what um, 22 times 5 is. Well, I'm going to take that down here, and I'm going to say 20 times 5 plus um, 2 times 5. I just split up the 22. Um, so 20 times 5, like tw uh, 5 $20 bills, that'd be cool, $100 or 100 and then 2 times 5 is 10. And then we have the 1 from the beginning, right? So I believe it's 111 um, cubes. All right. We got here and there's lots of time. So I can talk about the um, challenge for just a minute. Um, let's see. Let's think about this. How much do I want to give you? Well, we'll see. So a certain arrangement in the sequence takes 631 cubes. That's a lot of cubes. Which arrangement is it? So let's draw a picture. Well, I'm drawing my little flower picture. The top, the side, the side, the front, and the back. We know there's one there. So that means there's 631 cubes in the whole thing, but there's one right in the middle. So each of these five arms is shares the 630 cubes. So let's go 631. Let's take away one for the middle. Middle. So that means there's 630 cubes in the um, arms. All right. So to figure out how many how many in each arm, we just go 630 divided by five. All right. Okay. That's going to tell me the arm. Now remember the relationship between the arm and the 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 arrangement or the figure number. So remember, the arrangement is always one more than the arm. So once I find that, once I find that answer to figure out how many times 5 goes into 630, um, then I know that it's the arrangement number is one higher than that. Okay? I'm, I'm debating whether I should work on this a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on it a little bit, and I'm going to do my, my newly learned division method. Um, I know... Um, we'll see. I might need to move that down a little bit. Let's, let's move this up. Give myself some room. 630 divided by 5. So I know 5 times 100 is 500. Okay? Just an easy one. Let's take that away. And then I know 5 from before. 5 times 20 is... Um, 5 times 20 is 100. Um, 20 is 100, so take that chunk of 100 out of there. That's 30 left. And then I know 5 times 6 is 30, and I have no remainder. So my answer is 126. Now that's how many is each arm. Oh, I'm going to try and write sideways. And then 126. This is harder to do. Okay, so... Each arm is 126. Now look at this. The 23rd arrangement was 22. The fifth arrangement was fifth arrangement was four. So this is always one less. So this is not the 126 arrangement. I'm going to leave that last little part for you to see if that even makes sense to you. Okay, I didn't leave you much. Hopefully you tried to figure some of that on your own, but um, you can figure out the arrangement. All right, bring any questions you have, and thanks for watching. All right, thanks, guys.